We turn now to a CBS News investigation of the National Flood Insurance Program. It was funded 50 years ago and is supposed to help flood victims. We found that is often not the case, including for homeowners in Louisiana, devastated by flooding in 2016. Much of the money that should help people rebuild, we learned, instead goes to the very people fighting against them. Our investigation looks at what many consider a broken system. For the last two years, Richard and Linda Brown have been living in a shell of a home. No insulation, drywall, or flooring, all while trying to raise four kids. You can't, as a father, you know, look at your kids and, and, and they come home to this and they land on, on, a, on a mattress. Their house in Louisiana was destroyed by floodwaters in 2016. At the time, they didn't panic because they had flood insurance, a policy worth $168,000. To date, they've received less than half that, around 62000 we pay into this premium, and all I want is just to be fair, and we weren't getting fair. Two years later, you're living in a house that's still mm. down to the studs. Mm. Yeah, it's, and the, the kids have to live like this. They can't have friends come over. We can't have family come over because we're living like this, and it's hard. The Browns decided to fight the National Flood Insurance Program in court. Run by FEMA, the program is responsible for all flood policies in the United States. Insurance premiums and taxpayer dollars fund the program, about $3 billion a year. But FEMA doesn't administer all the policies. It outsources most to private insurance companies called Write Your Owns, or WYOs. They and all of their agents get paid out of the same pot of money as flood victims. Some years, up to two-thirds of that pot goes to the WYOs and the attorneys they hire to fight flood victims' claims. In effect, by paying their premiums on time every year, homeowners like the Browns help fund the very lawyers fighting them in court. It's like people make money off disasters. The more they can make, the better. A 2016 government report found little oversight by FEMA of flood litigation spending, showing how one flood case was estimated to cost $87,000 in legal fees just for trial preparation. That homeowner's policy limit was $25,000. Gerald Nielsen's Louisiana law firm was hired to fight Richard and Linda Brown's claim. For more than 30 years, Nielsen has been the go-to lawyer for insurance companies fighting against flood victims not without drawing anger from Congress. He dealt with Sandy victims like they were the perpetrators, enriching himself at their expense. A New York judge called his misconduct in one Superstorm Sandy case remorseless, saying Nielsen's failure to exercise reasonable diligence harmed flood victims. Court documents show Nielsen's firm demanded depositions to verify receipts that would have cost far more than the bills themselves. Can you imagine losing everything that you have ever had in your life, and you paid for insurance. John Hotailing is the Browns attorney. His law firm also represented victims of Superstorm Sandy in court against Nielsen's firm. There was no effort to mitigate the cost. In many cases, we were asked to have experts reinspect for a third time homes that were totally destroyed. A public information request revealed FEMA paid Nielsen's firm at least $29 million for Sandy cases alone. Nielsen declined our request for an on-camera interview okay. and hadn't acknowledged receiving our questions. So our producer went to his office. Okay. Yes, yes. Mr. Nielsen, we're with CBS News. We caught up with him in the parking garage to ask about his legal fees. I've got to go through ethics counsel because some of what you've asked clearly is privileged. Later, Nielsen wrote CBS a letter saying he was acting at the direction of his clients and all his bills were reviewed by the clients and FEMA. We just want to put the house back together and we still like this right now. What's your message to the people who could do something about this? Just think about what we're going through. We're not asking for much. We just want our house back together so we can just be happy again. That's all. We will have much more of our investigation tomorrow on CBS This Morning.